What's happening guys? Adam and Emini, CEO Aerospace 2000, back with another video, back with another aircraft part, back with another banger. Now, whoever's visited our global headquarters in Watford and we have an open invitation policy will have seen we've got a couple of rats in our warehouse. Now, I'm not talking about the furry kind, I'm talking about the aviation kind. Let's take a look. I've got an absolute crack of an aircraft part to present to you guys today. Now, we do have a few of these in the crates, but the team here thought it'd be funny to get me five meters up in the air. So here I am presenting. The Ram Air Turbine, abbreviated to RAT, is a small power turbine which powers the aircraft either with hydraulic or electrical power in the event of a double engine blowout. The name Ram Air is literally because as the airstream rams against this, it generates a turbine which then powers either a hydraulic pump or an electrical generator. Now the concept of a ram air turbine isn't necessarily a new one. You can go all the way back to World War II when the Germans used it on the Messerschmitt ME163 Comet, which was literally a rocket powered engine. And because they couldn't risk of any sparking through electricity, they used this tiny propeller, which you could see on uh, the picture just below, which gave just enough power to the cockpit instruments. Now the ram air turbines you see here We've got one from the civil sphere. This came off an Airbus A310. This one, much smaller, came off a military aircraft, the Panavia Tornado. Now in both instances, the ram air turbines are critical to providing just enough basic power. In the military sphere, typically a lot of the aircraft will have one engines. They're subject to a lot of stress, a lot of temperatures. If you've got an engine blowout, if the engine gets hit by an enemy, you need to have some basic power. On the aircraft, such as an Airbus, what you're going to see is it's going to give just enough power to be able to control it. Now, as a passenger, you would have never seen a ram air turbine as you approach the aircraft because they're stowed away. So on an Airbus 320, it's kind of in between the nose gear at the front and the main gears on the underside of the belly. On an A330, for example, they're stowed in the right hand uh, wing fairing, which is slightly longer. Now, what will happen whilst in flight is both engines will be generating all the power needed for the aircraft. So that will be hydraulic, electrical, pneumatic. In the event of a twin engine flame out, the ram air turbine will immediately deploy and descend. These blades, as they hit the airstream, will start rotating as a windmill effect, and that will provide either hydraulic or electrical power. Now, on most of the older aircraft types, you've got hydraulic power but definitely some of the newer types, the 787, the A350, generate electrical power. So the ram air turbine is a backup to the engines just in case they fail. And whilst that's very rare, the main OEM in the civil aviation sphere of these ram air turbines, Collins Aerospace, Hamilton Sunstrand Division, has recorded that these have been used in 16 documented flights and have saved over 1,700 lives. Now, as a pilot myself, I'm very relaxed when I get on the aircraft, but I can assure you if I'm on a flight where one of these has to be deployed, I would not be a happy camper. I would be really concerned. Now, the Air Transat 236 flight, and I'll put a link at the bottom so you guys can see a little bit more about what happened there, is the most famous use of the Ram Air Turbine because it's the single longest recorded twin engine flame out where they managed to land the aircraft. It was over 120 kilometers it landed in the Azores, which is a small Portuguese island in the Atlantic. Now the pilot, there's been some debate whether he was at fault for the twin engine flame out. I'm not going to dwell on that, but what I can say is that he exhibited exceptional piloting skills to be able to land that under extremely difficult circumstances. And no doubt the ram air turbine played a critical part in them being able to have just enough power to guide it onto the runway in the Azores. Most ram air turbines must be overhauled every 20 years to make sure that they're airworthy. And if you're coming up to a maintenance schedule, Aerospace 2000 can help you through having some of Europe's largest stock holding of ram air turbines. One of the critical things during the recertification process is these actually have to get sent to a wind tunnel to test. And if the blades are not perfectly aligned, balanced, 
it's not going to generate the power needed. So just one small ding or one small corrosion can end up with a very costly replacement on the blades. We've got quality units in stock, ready to ship 24 seven. So I hope it's been an interesting video about an aircraft part, which you may not have known about. Next time you hear of a rat in an aviation sphere, you know what it's all about. Until the next time guys, stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm done on this shaky platform.